I don't know if you guys noticed at home, but Big Mo is his own mic flag, and that's impressive. <laughs> Big Mo is not playing around, man. He's got the sunglasses. I the guy's just probably... realized that he has that. Oh, thing. yeah. Here we go. First of three five-minute rounds. And I'm interested to see how the wrestling's going to go here because Chris Curtis feels very confident with his wrestling. Oh, look, we have an open stance of Southpaw, Chris Curtis. We've got the orthodox stance by Kenny Robertson. Looks like he's feigning some takedowns, but no easy task here. Good leg kick. Now, Kenny Robertson has this style where his hands are open and they kind of flutter back and forth. I saw this before. I watched some of this tape. And it's kind of deceiving because it can kind of distract some opponents before he lands punches or kicks. Well, the other thing, too, he's a wrestler. That's kind of the wrestling stance. We never really have our hands closed together. Oh, big shots by Curtis here. Oh. Nice body shot there by Chris Curtis, that left hand. Beautiful combination. You know, the thing we forgot to mention with Chris Curtis is he has the esteemed Frank Mir in his corner. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm doing an okay job replacing the legend. <laughs> just fine, just fine, sir. I maybe take up less space than him. That's 100%. <laughs> sure. Interesting exchange there in the pocket. I'll tell you what, Kenny Robertson is not, not afraid to exchange in close there. Kenny Robertson is staying in the pocket. He's putting it on him, but Chris Kerr is staying composed. Nice fight here by two veterans. And this is some, some relatively technical striking so far that we've seen inside. Good left hand there. Popped him. Kenny smiles back at him. I'd Come. like to see a little more activity from Curtis. Well, he's trying to. Fi I feel like he's trying to figure out where he's going to get that shot. Yeah, picking his picking his shots. There you go. That's a nice one too. Clean. Yeah. Ken Kenny did well to slip that, but it was close. Oh yeah. I mean. Curtis looks extremely confident. Oh, they've both been here before. I mean, he's a good striker. He's on the feet where he wants to be. Nice return job and huge body shot there. Once again, Kenny's smiling back at him. But is that indicative of a shot that landed, you think? A lot of times fighters seem to smile back at you when it, when it did touch you. Hey, I'm a believer in poker face, man. I don't show nothing out there. I don't want the judges to even think I, I got hit or I didn't get hit. I don't want them to think anything. Kenny has not shot yet, which is super interesting. But I don't feel like he's found an opening that looks clear yet. And that's why he seems a little bit hesitant. He's not sure when it's time to do it. Halfway through this first round again, three five-minute round schedule. Big right hand slip by, Ken by uh, Chris Curtis, but man, Kenny Robertson came to fight. Nice one, two, clean. Man, Chris Curtis has clean striking. Good Another job that lands. Yeah. And his striking is looking better and better as the round goes on, James. I tell you, I think he found his range. We've only had one decision thus far the tonight. Will this fight go that far? I like the fact that Kenny is moving his head. He's not a moving, he's not a standstill target. He's moving his head, trying to throw big shots out of the way. Oh, nice left hand. Yeah, Curtis is looking very, very crisp on his feet. Interesting kick there. Well, I think it was blocked, but the nice kind of Wing Chun style by Kenny Robinson there. <laughs> Got the hands flowing. Little karate blitz. 90 seconds to go here in this first round. And Curtis, I'm sorry, Kenny Robertson still yet to shoot for that takedown. And I, I feel like he's looking for the shot. He's throwing those blitzes moving forward, looking for that chance for the double leg. Yeah, but like you see there, he got hit with an uppercut coming yeah. in. He seems like he's paying for every time he, yeah, you know, he's coming in, rushing in, or not timing it properly. He knows if he puts his head down, he's putting himself in danger, and that's why he hasn't taken too many shots. Clean striking by Chris Curtis, kids. If you want to learn some striking, here's a guy to watch. Yeah, it's great MMA striking. Another big left hand. Look at the way he pulls his head just off the center line, just a little bit, that's Chris Curtis, and then returns fire with either a right hook or a left straight. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and then a left straight to the body. Definitely demonstrating a mastery of the distance. Again, Kenny dips his head and pays for it. You know, last time Kenny fought here, he had, a, I'm sorry, Chris Curtis fought here. He had Sean Strickland in his corner, who was the most entertaining thing I ever seen in my life. Oh, Sean Good Strickland. jab. Oh, yeah. The infamous YouTube video with Sean Strickland. <laughs> 
and the bigger dude that was going through hard and sparring. Oh, nice combination by Curtis. Yeah, Curtis now touching the body quite a bit as well. His striking is looking so crisp. This is the end of the first round. We will see a second. We're gonna take a look at some replays here in a moment as we see Chris Curtis take a seat in his corner. Very, very relaxed, very, very composed. He's been showing some great striking and not really giving an opening to Kenny Robertson to shoot a takedown. And if you're the champ, if you're the coach, Frank Mir, you're really happy with that, you know, that first round. You're really happy with the way it went. Your fighter, you know, he controlled the distance. He got the strikes when he wanted to, landed good counters. And again, didn't really get hurt. We see, we see Chris Curtis in the center of the cage. He took two shots and that was a, what Kenny had to go. He had to kind of blitz one, two, threes, looking for takedowns, but never got that shot he needed. And we see Chris Curtis standing tall in the middle of the cage and really delivering laser accurate shots. Look, Kenny Robertson is outclassed in striking matchup, but he's not out of here. You know, he's, on, he's putting the pressure on him. He's got those blitzes, and we saw a little wrestling action at the end of the first there. The second of three five-minute rounds here at the Bond Secure Wellness Center. Ex-MMA Eric Apple hanging out with James Mancini, and we are watching Kenny Robertson from the blue corner take on Chris Curtis. Another blitz by Kenny Robertson. He's right in there, and some of these are landing. Oh, but a big left hand by Chris Curtis to answer back, though. Remember, fans at home, we are judged on three things. Striking, grappling, and cage control. So, Chris Curtis, if he keeps the center of this cage, he's going to be winning that. Look, there's no question about it. Chris Curtis is the better striker, but it doesn't mean anything. Like you said, there's other other elements to the game. There's the grappling and the cage control. If you know, if you're walking forward and your other guy just keeps backing up, hey, look, you might get a decision win. Another blitz. Interesting. I see. It looks like a, some swelling or a cut on the right eye of Chris Curtis. Did you see that? Chris Curtis is cut open. I'm not sure what landed, but Chris Curtis is cut open. And sometimes, the, you know, right above the eye there in the orbital, who knows where it's that cut is? It's in a bad spot. It's yeah. in a bad, real bad spot. Oh, right hand again. It might be that lead right hand. Oh, there he There's a shot. There's a takedown. Nice pro. Wizard. Great, Great hips. Coming up with a knee. Wow. Chris Curtis is really defend that takedown well and fired back. Kenny Robertson, nice back fist on the way out. Man, so Chris Curtis, who's, at, who's really controlled the striking thus far, is the first one to take a cut, though, and it's in a bad spot. Remember, if it's cut, if it's cut over the eye, it's bleeding into the eye, that's when the that's when the referee or the doctor can stop the fight, correct? The doctor can stop the fight if he deems that the fighter is unable to continue because the, you know, the fight is, yeah, here we go, because the fighter's in danger. Let's see if we can find a replay of what opened up that cut. I believe it was a punch. I don't, I don't. I didn't see a headbutt. Did you? I didn't quite see a headbutt. Things happen so quick in there, Apple man. I just, you know, I hope this fight continues because this is a good one for, from two veterans here. Real good one. Oh yeah, he's disputing. He doesn't want to be done. So once again, once again, the way it works is, is it's up to the doctor to decide. It, it, as a matter of fact, Chris Curtis saying I want to continue. That doesn't matter at all because the fighter will say he wants to continue no matter what. What matters is if the doctor believes that the fighter's vision is impaired and he is unable to defend himself because, the, again, the referee and the doctor's number one job is to protect that fighter. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you wave off the doctor. The doctor has a final say, but look, he senses emergency now. I see him really putting the pressure on him. Well, our team in the truck looked for a headbutt or anything that might have started it, so I, we, we couldn't find it. So we believe it was a straight punch from Kenny Robertson that opened that eye. I'm assuming it's a lead right hand. Hey, there's a lot of stuff going on there. There's elbows flying, knees flying, heads flying, and obviously fisticuffs. And here we go, Kenny Roberts. And this is the first time we've seen a clinch up against the fence like that. So That's maybe Kenny Roberts is able to start taking over control of this game. That's what I was going to say. I was expecting Kenny Robertson to wrestle a lot sooner. Here he is now, midway through the second round, putting the pressure on him. A little bit of cage wrestling here from Kenny Robertson. But a nice wizard, good defense, hips her back. Doesn't look like Chris Curtis in trouble. Whoa, a nice little uppercut, short uppercut here. Nice inside fighting from wow. two brothers. Wow. Great action there inside. Look at these two. Chris Curtis just rolls with every punch. I can't believe he got cut open there. He's very just, smooth. Man. Very smooth and very comfortable. It looks like we got du double underhooks here. Not, not anymore. Now, 
Explain to the fans at home what, 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 what underhooks are and why they're important for the fighters up against the fence. So underhooks make you control the position and force your opponent to be in a defensive position, putting on the wizard, which is the overhook. Underhook is always a more favorable position, especially in a clinch and a wrestling situation because you can step inside, you can step outside, you can dictate the pace. And we saw a great misdirection from, from Curtis there a minute ago. And he's done that before in some of those fights. He's, a lot of times when he defends takedowns, he defends it by just getting out of the way and really sliding off to the side. The guy is a smooth operator if yes. I've ever seen one. That's a great great description. Oh, left hand. But that's a great description. He is smooth as could be. And this fight is getting more interesting as it goes on. It's getting interesting, and just out of the way, Chris Curtis, again, I, I, you know, touch of the gloves there, respecting these two guys. Big body shot by Kenny. Hey, Kenny's right in there, guys. Let's not uh, let's not kid ourselves here. He's cut, his, he's cut his opponent open. He's put his opponent against the cage, and he's done some damage. I mean, then the hips of Chris Curtis. Every time that Kenny even thinks about a double leg, his hips are back real quick. Yeah, real strong in the sprawl there. Real strong sprawl. So the first round looked to be a very strong one for Chris Curtis, but what about this one, James? So I'm going to give the first to Chris Curtis as well, and I think the second one, well, we've got about a minute left. I think, you know, the minute's going to dictate who wins the fight, but I think, again, I've got to go with Chris Curtis just with octagon pressure, octagon control, and going forward and cleaning, cleaner shots. But it's close. It is close. Nice knee there inside. Kenny Robertson is slowly but so, slowly but surely starting to take control of this fight and making it more of a battle. 37 years old, he's right in there, baby. Boy! Oh, back fist. Lost his balance there. Now, was that a knockdown or did he slip? I think he just slipped. I think both opponents uh, touched the gloves there. They kind of knew what happened. Good shot there to finish the round. Flying knee. Flying knee. Elbow. Ooh -wee. <laughs> nice matchup so far. Great matchup so far. Referee talking to Kenny Robertson about something. I'm not really sure that's, I don't know if we can hear what he says. And let's see if we can get a, a close up of the cut on Chris Curtis. I don't know if we can get a camera over there. He's got a big cut over his right eye. And the doctor immediately said, you're okay, you're good to go. But that cut can continue to get worse and worse, can't it, James? Well, that's what's swelling. They say, you know, you gotta, you got to have a good cut, man. It's important to have someone in the corner that really knows what they're doing. XMA is a professional league here. They've got some pros out there working the cuts, working the corner, making sure these players can stay out and do their thing. We're going to replay some striking. The shot from Kenny Robertson, the sprawl from Chris Curtis. I think that was it. Some good, just good exchange yeah. in tight there. Back and forth, rolling with the punches. And you're talking about the sprawl cut in the corner. I just saw it there. You're absolutely right. I didn't even see that, and I'm the wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the camera on Chris Curtis, but they got a good amount of Vaseline in that cut to kind of stop the bleeding. Oh, let's see. Yeah, yep. his eye is almost shut there. All right. This is the third of three five-minute rounds. Chris Curtis taking on Kenny Robertson here at XMMA at the Bond Secure Wellness Center. Eric Apple hanging out with James Mancini, and we're happy to be a part of this action. He's putting the pressure. I think he senses the urgency here. He's putting the pressure. Maybe he's found his range. Big left hand. Again, that cut is above the right eye. He stands right foot forward, and a lot of your depth procession comes from your lead eye, so that might be a factor in this. 100% it is. And Kenny Robertson's striking is sort of deceiving because it, it is relatively effective so far. I mean, he not only did he open that cut, but he is landing punches and kicks. And he, and he throws and gets out of the way, which is nice too, like you saw here. And he's not shy, and he's, he's aggressive when he throws. He throws in combinations. And again, those karate blitzes slash wrestling or whatever they are. Man, it's some good stuff out of Kenny Robertson, the veteran. Well, it's, you know, it, it's, it looks somewhat awkward, but it's effective. Hey, look, I remember trying with, training with Elias Theodoro at TriStar, one of the most you know, unorthodox strike you'll ever meet, but he was damn effective. Less than four minutes to go in the fight. Who is going to take charge? You've got to think, from, if you're both corners and you're, you know, you're being conservative, you're being smart with your athlete, you've got to think that it's a 1-1 round. You've got to. There's no other way to go about this third. Yeah, the second round was too close for, for anybody to feel good about it. Huge left hand there, rocks Kenny Robertson. Man, he's got a good chin, Kenny. He's got a real good chin because there were some big, clean shots down the middle. Man, 
And Chris Curtis is boxing with that kind of shoulder roll, Floyd style. He's got that shoulder forward, head just a little bit off the center line and a little bit yep. back. So impressive. But again, Kenny Robertson, not to say he's not doing a great job in there, a it's great a, job. It's effective. Like I said, it may not be the prettiest style stand-up, but it's very effective, especially for a guy who, who came from wrestling originally. Man, he's landing, getting out of the way, and he's throwing punches. Oy. Big left hand. And you see left. the redness now starting to come up on Kenny Robertson's face. Yeah, Kenny seems to be cut above the nose. Oh, oh body the shot. Head. And the good knee to follow it up. Great combination. But look at this. Arena, Kenny, Kenny Robertson turns him back to the cage. The wrestling instincts kick in, and yeah. then you go, like you said, for those double underhooks, which is a very favorable position for Kenny Robertson. He's going to have cage control right now. Also, importantly, first thing he did was he got the head position, drove the crown of his head right into the eye of Chris Curtis. Right in the eye, the chin, whatever it takes. Good leg kick, good leg yeah. kick. I haven't seen Curtis kick too much. I think uh, he really has that boxing heavy style. Yes. But man, his boxing's effective. Very good boxing, very <laughs> slick. Head kick blocked by Curtis. Front kick blocked. Two minutes to go here in the left third hand. and final round. Good left hand shot. Oh, that left was. Shot. But you see, he makes him pay. Even when he gets sprawling, he throws hands, yeah. he's throwing something. That was an interesting low single from Kenny Robertson. Defended super well by the strong hits of Chris Curtis, who's just putting it on the pressure now. Great striking combinations. Finished there with a knee. You gotta love the heart of Kenny Robertson, the guy who just comes here against a game opponent. Yeah, he hasn't fought in so long. Just putting it on him, trying, yeah. trying his best. Oh, oh left another hand. Big left hand. I don't know how many more of these he can eat Apple. I mean, that is, those are brutal straights right down the middle. Both the fighters exchanging straight shots. Just over one minute to go. Who wants it more? Is it Kenny Robertson or Chris Curtis? And blood really starting to stream down the face of Kenny Robertson. This is what you pay your bucks for, guys. Big striking contest with a lot of blood coming down to the final minute of the fight. Again, Curtis slipping just out of the way, but Robertson just keeps throwing. Oh, Time. Looks like, <laughs> Go ahead. Looks like Curtis buckled his leg there. We hope we don't see another perennial nerve injury. <laughs> Oh, oh, big shots. Big shots. Time looks to be running out for Kenny Robertson. Can he pull a rabbit out of a hat here last second? Kenny's having a good time in there. He really wants it. His coach is waving him in, wants him to come forward. But Chris Curtis, the one pushing the action right now. We've got about 20 seconds left here, Apple. I don't know. I think Curtis got it, but it's anyone's game still. It's going to take something big for Kenny Robertson to get a victory here in this third and final round. Ten seconds to go. We got ten seconds. Are we going to see fireworks? Are we going to see action? I think we are. Body shots, leg shot, sprawl, cut the corner. Big right hand shot Big on the ground, and pound. followed by a left. What a great fight. Great effort from both these guys. Great action. Man, we're going to see all kinds of great replays. This is only our second uh, decision of the entire night here at XMMA. But man, great exchanges on the feet, great wrestling. What do you think? Honored to call that one. Guys, there's a textbook MMA fight. You're gonna see it all. You're gonna see a bit of cage work, a lot of good striking, some wrestling, some wrestling defense. But guys, two veterans putting it all out there and what a great fight. I mean, you can't ask for more from two guys who, again, they fought the who's who and now they're out here just putting on a show for us at XMMA too. Man, Chris Curtis, he feels confident raising his hands. And I'm gonna have to assume that he won at least two out of three of those rounds. We see some replays, a one-two there. Chris Curtis not really landing, but that right hand did, and the follow-up knee. I love that one there, one-two flying knee. Really putting the pressure on the guy. Yeah, Chris Curtis was a clean striker. Here we go again, another clean left right down the middle. Hey, look, the truck is showing us a lot of highlights from Chris Curtis. I think it's Chris Curtis's game. I think you would agree that it's probably Chris Curtis's win. What do you I think? I would imagine he won the first and third for sure. He possibly even won the second round. But he's got to feel confident going in there. And look at this is the end of the fight. You saw that big shot, that right hand on the ground. And you know, Kenny Robertson was running out of gas, and at that point it's hard to defend. And that was all she wrote for the fight. 15 minutes of great action, so we gotta be pretty happy with those guys. We are waiting for the official particulars, and if he's ready, we can throw it into the ring to Big Mo.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to your judges' scorecard for the official decision. All judges are in agreement, ruling this a unanimous decision, declaring your winner, the King of Combat, Chris Curtis. Chris Curtis remaining victorious once again here in XMMA. That's and his with second winner, Chris time. Curtis, Chris. Great performance out there. So I guess we're going with the King of Combat. You told me before, you got a bunch of nicknames. Man, you showed some great skill out there. How's it feel to get a huge win? Oh, uh, glad to get the win. Uh, disappointed in my performance overall. It's not what I thought was gonna happen. He's a uh, hats off to Kenny Robertson. They don't build him like that anymore, guys. Like, I hit that guy with some stuff. I set other people down. He's kind of looked at me. So hats off to him. He's durable, tough guy. Not the performance I wanted. But thank you guys anyway for, uh, hope you guys had fun. I kind of worked my ass off. Kenny Robinson fought his heart out. Hope you guys had fun. We're gladiators. Hope you guys are entertained. Hey, you're being real, real humble, real hard on yourself because that was a great fight. You landed some straight shots, a lot of straight lefts right down the middle. Chris Curtis, what kept him up? What do you think? Was it just his durability or did you think you had him at some point? Uh, the combination of he's got some outstanding durability and uh, you know, listening to his coaches in his corner. Hats off to Kenny Robertson's coaching staff. They had an excellent game plan. They kept him away from uh, all my combo setups. He interrupted her left. They walked him through that like a video game. Good job to them. That was a hell of a job. Chris Curtis, a huge show, a huge, you just made a huge statement by beating a veteran. What's next for you? What do you want to do with the XMMA here? Uh, dude, I'm down to fight whoever. They said not my best performance, but I'll be better next time. Uh, I'm ready to fight the next card, honestly. Got a little bit of stitches he gave me. It'll I'll be good in a week. I'm ready to fight in the next card, honestly. Let's do it. The King of Combat, South Carolina. Put your hands together. Chris Curtis. Yeah,